website or affiliate marketer or someone who's been involved in getting traffic coming to your website, there's one thing you've probably noticed by now. It takes time. A lot of your time and a lot of energy to make it happen. Well, it doesn't have to be this way. The good news is that it doesn't have to be your time that is spent getting all those visitors to your website. When you outsource the work to someone else for less, then you're going to tr make the transition from investing your free time into your business to investing someone else's and helping you make enough money from affiliate marketing or generating traffic to fuel your future growth. I'm going to take you through the steps of getting your own part-time virtual assistant for a lot less money than you'd think, doing things for you in order to get visitors coming to your website. What can they do? Well, they can run free solo ads for you. There's several directories where it does take time to go in and get set up. There's lists of 20, 30 of these or more. Who is going to create all those account profiles? Why not let someone else do it? If you are trying to rank for certain keyword phrases in Google and other search engines, a VA can get backlinks for you. They can submit the articles that you create or even write them themselves. They can submit the videos that you make to YouTube and other video sharing websites. They can do research, which is part of pretty much any marketing campaign. You want a guest blog, someone's got to go through all the blogs out there and research which ones are worth your time approaching. Same goes for JV partners, paid solo ad vendors you want to contact, etc. The sky is really the limit. It's up to you on what you want them to get done in your behalf. So before you find that person, you've got to get prepared in advance. The questions to ask yourself at this point are, what is it you want them to do for you? I suggest finding whatever marketing method has worked the best for you in the past and then training them to do that over and over and over again so you get the most bang for your buck. You want to tell them specifically and clearly what to do and how often to do it. You'll also have to think to yourself, what kind of skills would be needed by someone who does this for me? And then you'll know what to write in your project description when you go to one of several freelance websites will show you to find virtual assistants. You'll be able to post exactly what you're looking for and increase the chances that you'll find. Now that you've written up the facts of what it is you need someone to do for you, it's time to post your project. I'm going to give you a couple different ones. The first one to go to is odesk.com, which recently acquired elance.com as well. This is the biggest place and probably the safest to hire a virtual assistant because if you're not pleased, then the money is held in escrow and does not get delivered to them. So you don't have to worry about any fly-by-nights. I would go there and post a project first, saying exactly what you need done. And then, if you want, you can also post the site on freelancer.com. They've got many good people as well. Worst case, you announce it both places. You hire somebody from one of them, and then just nothing happens on the other one. It's not like you get in trouble. There's also a whole lot of other websites out there for uh, niche purposes, like some cater specifically to needing programming done or needing writing done. So uh, Google that and find out other places to announce it, but why don't you just try it with this first one or two, see how many respond. Another inexpensive place to get work done is on Fiverr.com. That's F-I-V-E-R-R.com. Small jobs here, but only $5. For example, I searched for submit videos. You've made a bunch of videos, and now you need someone to put them onto YouTube for you. Well, here's people who will manually submit one video to up to four sites and give you 2,000 backlinks, all for just $5. So whatever it is you want to do, try checking Fiverr as well to see if someone can do it for less. Once you've posted your project, you're going to start getting responses coming in. And the name of the game now is to sift and sort through the different people who have responded in order to choose the person who's most likely to be the best fit for the job. What to look for? Look in the messages that they send you and also the profiles of the people who are responding and see what their descriptions say. What kind of work have they done in the past? How well is it written? How professional does it look? Where are they from? What kind of work have they done before? And how similar is it to yours? Ideally, you'd find someone who's done the exact thing that you've done for a long time and for a wide variety of people. What are their ratings? When people have used them in the past, how many stars did they get? What kind of comments did people leave behind? If you see something like they disappeared in the middle of the project, or it was hard to communicate with them or they didn't get the job done then you know they're probably not the best person to hire also take a look at their portfolio of work if there's things that they've written or created that they can show you then compare those among different freelancers to see who might be a more qualified person to hire now once you've chosen the right person it is off to the races 
But before you sit back with your hands behind your head, there's a couple more things to do. You'll need to give them the resources that they need to complete the project. If they're getting backlinks for you, you need to tell them what pages of your website, here are the URLs, I want you sending visitors to these particular pages using these particular keywords, or whatever it is you need them to do, just get specific. Clear instructions and deadlines are very important so that there's no miscommunications. And then once they've started, answer any questions, follow up on their efforts, and offer them support as needed. If they say, I'm ready to start, but I still need one more thing from you, don't sit on that for three days, but get back to them quickly so they can get started. Then when they're done, review their work and pay them when you're satisfied. And once you've got your own inexpensive virtual assistant generating traffic for you for $10 an hour or even less, then it is just a matter of how many different ways can I get them sending traffic to my offer, to my squeeze page, to my website. There's a whole lot of lead generation strategies out. So whether you are implementing the traffic strategies yourself or with the help of your virtual assistant, make sure to click the subscribe button and follow us in order to see new videos as we come out where we'll teach you additional ways to drive traffic to your website and make money online.